Joey Dunlop has been an understood king of the road. Five world titles and 14 Isle of Man TT wins are proof of that. These days he's proving to be a champion of the underprivileged. And with a van and trailer packed with food, clothes and medical supplies, he's on his way to Hungary, where those much needed provisions will be handed over to some refugees of war-torn Yugoslavia. Awful assault in TV and I said I wasn't good at Yugoslavia when I went to Romania last year and then I saw that on TV and I said, the wife, I think I'd like to go there. So I just decided after that I would go. A lot of people can donate money or clothes, uh, but what you're doing is, is a big bit extra, isn't it? Oh, it is. I like to get it there and see where it's going, you know, and I know it's not going like around the world and, and people not getting it. I'm saying it there, I know it's going to be there. Joey's solo mission will take him about 12 days. He'll cover some 6,000 miles, and his marathon journey will take him through countries like France, Belgium, Germany, Austria, with his final destination, a town on the borders of Hungary and Yugoslavia. When you get there, do you have any problems, any difficulties getting the supplies to the people? No, not really, no. I think you have it well organized this time. Like I'm meeting in the cathedral in the city centre. They told me it'd be easy enough. God and that word for me, and they're going to contact me there, and then they're going to they're going to escort me through then. So I think I'm going to be all right this time. They're quite harrowing things. Are you prepared for that when you get there? I don't know. They're organising a trip for me to go around the refugee camp. I'll go, and if I don't like it, I'll turn. Uh, I couldn't say where I'll do it and where I'll not do it. Good on you, Joy, and we wish him a safe journey, all 6,000 miles of it.